Right, welcome back, uh, News Hub and Newspaper Review, one of your most favorite segments I can imagine on the show for those of you who don't want to buy the papers, but as you go buy the papers and find out we've got over a dozen papers here this morning, so uh, we're great, ready to set out and roll. Mustafa Issa is head of News, Silverbed News 24. Great to have you join us uh, on Silverbed News Hub as usual. Oh, it's nice. Restful. Thank you. You're welcome aboard. Okie dokie. Arsenal is smiling again. All right, uh, let's hit off. With <laughs> <laughs> Gone in for the EPL, eh? All right, uh, let's begin with the Vanguard. Uh, the Vanguard's big story here is uh, with um, the fight in the hike in price of fuel, electricity, tariff, labor, insist. We're determined to fight fuel price hike as well as electricity tariff increase. Uh, this organized labor support. Federal government meets labor leaders and CSOs tomorrow. They were supposed to meet over the weekend. Uh, still meeting and trying to save the day. Um, JAF begins nationwide ma uh, mass protest on Wednesday. The federal government insensitive to suffering of Nigerians, uh, says Pandev. Demands building of refineries in Nigeria, and it goes on and on. Read up and find out some more. Federal government spends 1.47 trillion naira on refineries, revamp maintenance in five years, as says the NNPC. Hmm. On practicing fee seal, NBA asks lawyers to ignore uh, Malami's order. Above the banner, Obasanjo now divider in chief, says the presidency. Interesting. Um, Retort from the Minister of Information, uh, Lai Mohammed. Health workers declare nationwide strike today. The federal government has responded, saying the action is illegal. Uh, Falano drags uh, federal government and Kano to African Commission over a single sentence to death. Uh, they killed my father out of jealousy, and it's Miwa Ege, who, um, son of former Attorney General and Minister of Justice Bola Ege, more than nearly 20 years uh, that incident happened still continues to shock the nation. Huh? A do debate, my predecessor borrowed recklessly Obaseki. Obaseki's only achievement is security vote increment, says Eze Yamo. And they go head to head uh, on Saturday, so we're just days away from the governorship election. Adu, which we're going to talk about during the show later on. Get these stories and more in the Vanguard. And now let's take a look at the cover page of the Daily Times today. The biggest story here, Buhari influenced by Jonathan Style on Chief of Staff. Others, that's on page two. And just above the nameplate, the editorial of the Daily Times today is on the Water Resources Bill. And it continues on page three. There is a picture story here showing traffic caused by indiscriminate display of wares by traders on the Abuja Kaduna Highway at Madala Market in Niger State. And so other stories now, pension workers scared of retirement as bottlenecks choke pensions. That continues on page four. Governorship election, Lagos Police Command deploys 8,000 officers for Edo governorship election. It continues on page four. And the stock market, NSC's equities depreciate by 0.05% amid profit taken and banking shares. It continues on page five of the Daily Times today. Let's see um, the Nigerian Tribune next. Uh, President's APC depend, de descend rather on Obasanjo and Atiku. Obasanjo is a low-level commander-in-chief, uh, says the presidency. Atiku cannot uh, seminize on economy, uh, says the APC. Listen to voice of reason, PDP uh, cautions uh, Buhari. So a weekend of uh, <coughs> tragic incidents uh, related to the environment, flood, uh, sweeps away two children in Lagos and then three killed in Kaduna. NAFDAQ clamps down on registration of sachet and pet alcoholic products. And then foreign reserves um, to hit uh, 34.3 billion naira uh, by December, the CBN has uh, predicted. Let's look uh, below the banner. Falano takes federal government and Kano government to Africa Commission over a death sentence on Singer. Senate adamant on constitution review and federal government warns 34 states over impending flood uh, disaster. Above the banner, again, PDP, APC trade words over plans uh, to rig uh, the Edo governorship poll. 
uh, picture of the day has got my interest here. Sea of, sea of hair, that's exactly the best way to describe this one. Uh, during the presentation of the flag uh, of the People's Democratic Party to its governorship candidate, uh, Itayo Jegede, flag of Habu Nakure. But interesting, look at, look at the way they all packed in like sardine. You wouldn't imagine that this is the COVID-19 pandemic uh, we're in and you have um, this sort of thing happen. Uh, talk about a bad advertisement uh, for health care concerns in the country. Get these stories and more in the Nigerian Tribune. Now let's speak of the Nigerian pilot today, where the biggest story uh, is on the uh, nationwide strike being called by Labour. And it's captioned, down to... Johesu orders members to begin nationwide strike today, says 15-day ultimatum to government lapsed yesterday. To Christ, Labour ministers alleged no work, no pay threat as federal government Labour rescheduled meeting over price tariff increases. Get all the sides of this story on page 8 of the Nigerian pilot. And just right below the nameplate, MBA kicks against Malami's attempt to reduce its power, page 9. On Edo decides, PDP raises alarm over alleged APC's plot to scuttle Cuba polls. That's on page 7. There is a picture story here of showing the view of Moshud Abiola National Stadium being renovated in Abuja on Sunday. Presidency, APC, Nok Obasanjo say he's divider in chief. That's on page 7. And banks not performing loans rise to 1.21 trillion naira in half year 2020. Get the full chase on page 36. Federal government sued to compel inclusion of a judge from Southeast among the new ones. Page 5. State of the nation listen to voice of reason. PDP cautions Buhari. Page 8. Falano begins battle over death sentence on Kano musician. Page 5. Lagos deploys 1,000 police officers for Edo governorship election, page 8. And on the bottom strip of the Nigerian pilot's day, 2,477 bank workers sacked in quarter 2, 2020. That's according to NPS. Get the full details on page 36 of the paper. Oh, right. So we can then begin to look at um, some of the stories now. Uh, remember, during this segment, you can call in, and um, if you have any comments, questions, um, you'll be patched through. And remember, uh, when you're patched through, turn off the device you're listening with or you listen all together with your phone. Just a minute, hopefully, you can make all those comments through. So, Mustafa, we've had um, the opportunity to see what the labor unions had in mind, you know, as they approached the government over this whole thing. Um, if the government had thought it wasn't going to be possible that uh, they would get this sort of reaction, I guess they, they never, um, I guess now they know that it's coming eventually. What are your thoughts um, in how organized labor has approached uh, this whole increase in electricity tariff and fuel? No, I think if there were a conversation before the agreement we announced, uh, probably would have known the mind of, of organized uh, labor in this regard. You know, I think labor has a right to um, stage protests because according to them, um, of we are also involved. You know, these increments, hike in the tariff, fair price increase and all that, have affected the take up pay for the workers. And they are their members. So unions are set up to protect the interest of their members. So if they sit in there and they say nothing, then the workers will probably say, look, they're part of the vote, no confidence on them. But they, are there, they, they exist to put it heat. Their members are now, their members are suffering in the sense that now they are take home pay. It's difficult to take that to, any, to, to the nearest bus stop. <laughs> so, they, they have to, but I, I understand that the federal government wants to uh, engage them in, in discussion. It's probably, some are even suggested, do, do, you, do they ask for another um, review of the minimum wage? Even when the, this, the current the 30,000 one has not paid by some states. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so as someone says, okay, let's ask for measures to cushion the effects. Because they're all like, going to be affected, most of, of us. I just realized you I was, know, I was going through the, can, the different the distribution, canoe, distribution, the distribution yeah. and, mm. the, and the band is the same thing like you have in Lagos. And yeah. I'm imagining someone who is working in the north and the, many of the areas which are not, don't earn as much as down south here and would have to pay three times what they probably used to pay for electricity. And no, so they're also in, in big trouble too. Yeah, in my area, uh, there are some, some, some people who see the electricity bill for 
August, just last week. And those who used to pay two thousand five monthly got five thousand plus. That hundred percent document. Yeah. So that is just the city bill. Let me talk of fear. And they are on the same income level. You know, so I think labor. I think I, I don't know what going to transpire at that meeting they're going to have tomorrow. I hope uh, something has to give. You know, government has to find a way to mitigate the effect of these increments on workers. Mm -hmm. What has it going to be? I don't know. Until after that, we're going to hear more about it. All right. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can join us on this uh, conversation this morning. I'll also take a look at stories making headlines in our newspapers today. The numbers to call on your screen are right now. Most of all, let's talk about the issue between the presidency <laughs> and PDP I thought and Baba BJ <laughs> and all of that. Divider in chief yeah, and all kinds of names. From commander calling. in chief to divider in chief, you know. Wait, wait a minute. You did that another letter, or just <laughs> this is a review. Just me actually, I your fire. She actually tried <laughs> corroborated for the first time yeah. with what yeah. former president of Nigeria you know, said. Any of my many enemies is your enemy. I think you know OBJ has been criticizing every government in Nigeria. You know, government did not criticize. Is his own was his own government. You will see the names he called IBB. He, at the point he said. If I be greeted you good morning before you answer, please check your time. <laughs> or that it was correct. It could be evening, you would just tell you good morning. You know, he took on everybody. You know, he wrote a letter to uh, former President Jonathan, you know, very few months later. Right. And he's, he's, still, he's still be writing and all that. So uh, that, that is just it. So, five commanders in China. So there's something new about what the man said. So um, the presidency is angry because, uh, to me, because in the last election, um, Bahadur did support Buhari for, for a second term. He openly declared support for Atiku. And for the first time, Obama just candidate lost an election in this country. For the first time in 2019. Yeah. And he's not be happy over that. So the presidency thinks that you are attacking us because the person you preferred did it win. That is the way they are taking it. And again, some of them will say, look, you're talking about divisions. But if you take our mind back to what happened to 1999, most of these ethnic groupings, um, OPC, yeah. Masob, mm. Igbisu, Arewa Youth Forum, and all that, we all formed under Obaja's government. Were they formed to promote unity? But to champion ethnic interest. You know, so it's, it's, it's be like that. I think. You know, as an elder statesman, really, uh, I think the National Council of State meets periodically, I mean, every year, and, and, and some believe that if you have, as an elder statesman, a former president, where you have such things to say, yeah. you can attend that meeting and pour out your mind to the, to the current government. Yeah. That, is, that is not the only president, former president in, in Nigeria today. You have other former leaders, um, Abdul Salam, Shule Khan, um, Jonathan yeah. and uh, even IBB. Right. You don't hear them say all these things. And then you still have so, the so you, the, when they attend council, national council the meeting, the they, they, they express themselves there. And the where you want to yeah, exactly, which is going, which is going, going on. on. So and he, he's had strong words again saying he doesn't see anything uh, good that will come out of it. So man, he, he, he organized, he himself organized a national conference. Yeah. and kept the report. Okay, I think that's, we have a true. caller so, on the so, line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Olumba, good morning. Good morning. Please let it be known that only a man, a patriotic leader, citizen who means well for his nation, will speak out like Obatanja is doing. Because all is not well with Nigeria. You know, all over Nigeria, everybody is crying. The killings are too many. Nigeria has become a huge river of blood. Headsmen killing everywhere. Bandits all over. You cannot travel from uh, Lagos to Abuja safely. You cannot travel from the east to Abuja safely. You can come from all over the place. So please, the President Buhari and his, uh, the current political actors should happen to the voice of him. It is not about Obatanjo, but about what is happening in Nigeria? What about leadership? 
We have never had it so bad in Nigeria before. Things are not the way they used to be, honestly. Thank you. Did you find your number for Molo? Oh, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, sometimes um, in communications, some will say, why don't okay, you just... I, th I think we have Omar. Uh, one, one moment, please, uh, Mustafa. Okay. Omar, you're welcome to News Hub. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining you us. See, yes, thank you very much. I'm Omar from Berlin King. You see, there is no need for residency replying to passengers. We all know who is the passenger. So no need of replying him. Most of Nigerians, including myself, we do not pay attention to what Obasanjo has said until the federal government replies him. There is no need. We all know what has been started. The, 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 all the Nigerian challenges have started during Obasanjo. We all know. We are all living with me. So there is no need of replying him. Yes. What, my wor what worries me is the doctors, uh, health workers strike today. They begin strike today. That's what worries me. It is, it is uncalled for. It is untimely. Why, why, why the Nigerian leaders strike remains the only language they will understand? Why? Why is it that whatever you say on MOU, whatever time or memorandum of uh, 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 understanding, is not being respected until you call on strike. Why? Hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Chuma. The, the answer blowing in the wind. I, I think we have one more call. Uh, let's take Ben. Uh, ben calling in from Edo State. Please go ahead. Hello? Ben, you can go on. Hello? We can hear you, Ben. Please go ahead. Yes. Yeah. I'm speaking from Benin, I don't think. Please Hello? go ahead. Okay, I'm back. I'm speaking from Benin. Yes, I'm hearing you. Oh. Yes? Yeah. And we can hear you. Go ahead, Ben, please. Yes, please. Okay, I'm hearing you. <laughs> ben, yes. uh, I think we have to call us back. It's the first really time, it's the first, the first time for a caller who will hear okay. himself and do me, you know, but <laughs> yeah. once you patch through, just go ahead and roll. You don't need to wait for us to respond back to you. Okay. Yeah, let me start with the, the health workers trial that was supposed to begin today. Uh, yes. I, I saw it coming, but you asked me why. How did mm -hmm. I say it? Anytime doctors go on strike, and the federal government enters an agreement with the doctors, of course, they will give them some media demands. Mm -hmm. Then the other health workers, nurses, midwives and all that, who also want their own. There's that, there's that rivalry. Right. And it's been on for, for many years. Just kindly hold your thoughts, okay. please, Mustafa. Let's speak with um, Paul, calling in from Abuja. Uh, Paul, please go ahead. Yeah, good morning, Mustafa. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Um, honestly, I want to speak. You see, Nigeria, our problem here is that uh, we are too sentimental, and that has been the thing of Nigerian development as a nation. We always look things from the prism of a military or religion. What Obasanjo has said, yes, take it or leave it. You might criticize him for anything. I am not a fan of Obasanjo, but one thing is constant, that that man is a pro Nigeria. He has always believed in Nigerian unity and Nigeria. he loves his country as much as he can. He might have had his own mistakes with all of us, I believe, even myself, uh, I agree that when he was there, he also did not do well in some areas. But we can't take it away from him that he has this country at heart. Now, look at the message and not the messenger. What the point you have raised are the mind, and are not things we can take away from. The present leadership has destroyed this country more than any other. The country is moving towards total disintegration. Because I do not see how a government can be without having the thinking of the people. How can you, at the eve of coronavirus, increase fat, increase the two life wire that holds this country, electricity and fuel, you know, petrol, at the same time, which are palliative? Go and read what Life, life Mohammed said in 2012. He said that the ACN government has 
you know, refused to accept the, 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 the issue of removal of subsidy because the cardinal things has not been done. And he named them that there must be, before the violence was come in place, and new ones, you know, built to cushion the effect. Today, I asked Clive Hammond. Okay, Paul, Paul, can you please wrap up this? your thoughts? Uh, we've been uh, just maybe 10 seconds. Okay, thank you very much. So, the point is, have this government brought in any palliative in place before doing this uh, 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 subsidy removal? And I, I said, it is not even removed because uh, NMPC is still so important of well. What thank you. Means? Thank you so much, Paul. So uh, I don't think Obama is based on fear of so this removal because himself did it when he was in, when he was president. Please, to go and check the history of Nigeria, Obama just increased fear price more than six times when he was president. So that is not. I don't think his excuse is based on fear price increase. He did it more than this government. Go and check the history of fear price increase in this country. He did it several times. You know. So he also claimed to have removed subsidy when he was in power. I think what I, what I was before the court started coming yes. into this. If you look at the Mount Basanjo, you say that it doesn't have clean record. You know, so by the communication, sometimes you, you look beyond the messenger. It's okay. Let me look at the message. Even though sometimes the messenger is so disposable could affect the message. Okay, take Obahajo aside, you know, and look at what he said. You know, even forget about his motive. Analyze what he has said and see whether there is element of truth in it. That if, 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 the, if, if there is, then you act on it to correct. You know, because ordinarily, because of his history, it's right. difficult for us to believe him. But look, look beyond the man himself and look at his message. If there's, what he said is genuine, you can act on it. Yeah, that's just the way I, I, I see it. Right. Uh, Let's run through the next set of papers. Um. Sure, we can, you can say something later on about the health workers um, strike. But let's look at the... Okay, that we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get <laughs> to that once, I, once we're done with this next set uh, on the paper review. The nation is next up. Um, hard knocks for Basanjo over attack on Buhari uh, government. Uh, the PDP says the president should listen. Save Nigeria from collapse. And uh, it goes on and on. Uh, below the banner, Ize Yamo rattles a basaki on performance. And then the governor's certificate of Shomole's tenure also topped debate. It was a debate that happened on TV uh, yesterday. And um, both uh, Shomole and uh, Ize Yamo had a chance to go head to head and, um, you know, try themselves out before millions of viewers. Oba of Benin seeks protection for core member. A thousand Lagos police been deployed uh, for election. On health workers strike, uh, they begin that Juhesu today. NBA to lawyers ignore Malami on stamp duties. AGF wrong, says Akbata. Nigeria's debts may rise to 34 trillion naira in third quarter. Gunmen kidnap on road. Uh, picture of the day here. You have the commissioner of police in Lagos State, Akim Odumosu, addressing uh, policemen deployed for the governorship election in Edo State, uh, addressing them just before their departure yesterday. Should be there by now. Get the stories and more in the nation. And on the cover page of the Daily Sun today, the biggest story here, Buhari hates Obasanjo hard. You are chief divider of Nigeria, President's replies ex-president. We stopped country from becoming failed state, Mohammed. Secondus hails Obasanjo elders for speaking truth to power. Gather the sides to this story on pages 6 and 27 of the Daily Sun today. And right beside the nameplate, Uzodima Okorocha fight over new varsity, page 28. And right below the nameplate, health workers begin indefinite strike today, page 28. And there are two picture stories here. Yeah. First one. <laughs> Eyeball to eyeball, President Muhammad Buhari and ex-president Lucia Gumbasanjo renew fights. I can tell you no social distancing in this particular picture. All right, now another picture there. Lagos State Emergency Management Agency last summer officials joined search for two missing children washed away by flood on Oyebanjo Sholaring Street, Kitu, Lagos, at the weekend. Uh, athletic one there. Edo Cuba won't be in conclusive elections, assures INEC. PDP alleged plots a scuttle poll. No party planning to rig at February. 
please deploy a thousand officers from Lagos. We may ask APC Chair Imuse to resign. Get that on page 18. Flooding. 28 states in danger once federal government advises states to prepare IDP camps, take proactive measures. Get that on page 28. But in integrity, the enduring legacy of Captain Hossa, that's uh, a feature there on page 19 of the paper. Then when you move to the bottom strip, fuel price, electricity tariff hike, NLC, TUC, meet ahead of planned nationwide protests. You can get that on page 26 of the Daily Sun today. The uh, blueprint is up next. The um, story here is uh, on health. Health workers begin warning strike today, accuse the federal government of not honoring agreement. Over 2,000 bank workers lose jobs in uh, the first quarter of 2020. Hmm. Uh, below the banner, uh, failed state, APC and PDP beak over Bassinger's comment. Presidency hits back at ex-president, and then Lai Mohammed is quoted here saying, Buhari saved Nigeria from sliding. Uh, the bottom of the page, um, kidnappers of uh, Tunga, Man Man Tunga Maje abductees insist on 20 million naira ransom in federal capital uh, territory. And then banks' non-performing loans stand at 1.21 trillion naira in six months. And constitution review, uh, memorandum submissions hit 100, Nigerians demand state police, and then the devolution of power. Picture of the day, uh, flood wrecks havoc in Ogba Road, Ogba rather, road in Lagos. Uh, this was on Saturday. You see vehicles swimming uh, against the tide. No respecter of institutions. Even the water detains the police in a police station. Uh, you see in the second uh, picture. You can get these stories and more in the blueprint. All right, now the cover page of The Guardian today. The uh, uh, biggest story here. Fiscal headwinds could scuttle economic recovery. CBN reports Naira buckles under falling reserves. Speculative trading risk aversion. You can get the continuation of that story on page six. And of course, there is a, a graph here showing a chart showing public debt accumulations from January 1, 2013 to June 30, 2020. And um, very interesting one. Forget border reopening for now. Eat what we have, we produce. Buhari tells Nigerians, page three. AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria, deaths, infection could skyrocket in the next 12 months. Why? Turn to page four to get the full details. 32 lives lost to Kebi flood, thousands displaced. Metro page 12. Adoki alleges indictment by Federal Government Council in Malabu case, page four. And 200% fare hike, COVID-19 protocols put air travel in disarray. Travelers stuck in UK over tests. Federal government holds pre-boarding payments for tests to fix faulty platform. Airlines urge government to harmonize safety guidelines. Get all the sides of the story on page 6 of the guidance today. And there is this COVID-19 case study in the country. Uh, as of today, uh, as of yesterday, we, Nigeria has recorded 56,256 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 44,152 people have been treated and discharged, while 1,082 people have died from complications of the virus. All right, uh, so we can get back... Uh to Mustafa. Remember, you can call in. Uh, when you call in, please know the, the phone protocols, like uh, the NCDC <laughs> protocol. Is that you go straight and make like your COVID-19 protocol, yeah, protocols. This is very important. Take what the, that, uh, uh, news review protocol. Don't spend more than a minute making your comments if you've got any questions, so we can be kind to the ones on the queue. So, Mustafa, I think we can get back uh, to the mm. health situation. It yeah. probably couldn't be worse. Ex exactly. Now you have them begin Johesu. You, you know, you just like the, 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 the issue between ASU and NASU. Anytime ASU goes on strike and government meets their demands, within one month or so, NASU will say, whatever you give ASU, hmm. they also want their own. Hmm. Same thing in the health sector. Anytime medical doctors go, go on strike and federal government meets their demands, Juhisu, I mean the other health sector workers want to also go on strike to get what the federal government has given to medical doctors. So on that basis, I thought federal government would have preempted this to know that if you are expected that you will people will so this also react. That's it. So, so you preempt the, the, the major success of any labor expert is uh, 
ability to preempt, to troubleshoot mm. and arrest this case before it erupts. Mm. You know, that's the way I see it. But it's not too late. They can still, uh, you see, one is tried, so they said. So, uh, the task can begin today. You know, so uh, they said they gave an ultimatum. Mm. 14 days. I know if you have one within those days. But it can still begin to negotiate from today. And so, uh, this not is time at all for Educators to go on strike because it's a critical period that we are in now. We are still battling COVID 19. Okay. We are happy that the numbers are going down, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that we should rest on our hours. Very There's important. still a lot to be done. One, mo one moment, uh, Mustafa. Let's talk to Sunny. Sunny is calling from Abuja. Good morning, Sunny. Okay. Thanks for joining us on News Hub. All right. Um, my, my point I'm making, the point I'm making. My, my friend over there is talking about uh, Albert and your legacy, what is it? We shouldn't be looking at that. We shouldn't be looking at that. We should be looking at what he said and which is right. Let me tell you, during Albert and your regime, all the, all, all the people he appoints, he appoints experts, the people that know what they're doing. And that was why the economy, are looking at the economy, not a, a, a few other. We know that Obatanga did not do very well, yes, in terms of some areas. But we are looking at the economy. He tried. But look at what is happening now. This man, Obuari, selected his people. He selected his people to occupy their people. Most of them don't know anything. That is what we are talking about. And that is why we are telling. He made a point. Obatanga made a point. And look at what is happening around. People are suffering. I'm telling you, since I was born, this is the worst government I've ever seen. Let us be realistic. Let us say the truth. This is the worst. Look at the security. And insecurity everywhere. Look at Boko Haram. Look at uh, henchmen killing people every day. The kind of, the kind of blood that has been split on this administration is far bigger. Okay, Sonny. Really Sunny, Sunny, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, we think you've made your point. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, okay, we have another caller on the line. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Are you welcome from uh, Plateau State? Thank you. Yes. I, uh, uh, I, I like to you know contribute to your program this morning. Please go ahead. If you look at your uh, Mustafa there, Mustafa is trying to. Be like it looks like a, 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 a supporter of this government. I don't know what's going on because if you check what is going on critically, I've moved around just last week from all the way from just up to uh, Quara State border. There, the price of everything has gone up. The rice in Quara is 28,500, in just is 29,000. That foreign rice in Quara is 26. The rice they said that we should eat. We can't afford it, 26,000. The transport cost has gone up twice. Some places we even tried. So what I we, we mean we cannot criticize this government. We cannot raise our voice if things are going bad. Yesterday, papers are saying if people protest in on, 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 on the state, they, they, they are, police are already warning people. The newspapers are being kept. You cannot come out to say the truth. Most of us is trying to be a, a smart piece to the government. I think it's not fair. We are feeling the heat. The okay, lights well, are getting high for us. All right, Wally, okay, thank you very much uh, for your comments. <laughs> issues as they come. When we have fear price hike, you know my position. Did I support it? When it was a tariff hike, I, we know my position about it. You know, my position is that it should have come after everybody had been metered. You know, you know my position on all this matter. We take issues as they come. You know, not support our government or whatever. You know, people resort to name calling once your opinion does not tally with theirs and they claim to be Democrats. You know, so I, I don't support any government, but I, I take issues as they come. Even on this matter, I said before, I said, look, yeah. government should just look at what Obama just said. Forget about the man mm. and analyze what they say. If it is the element of truth in it, mm. let them take it and address it. You, you get the point. Mm. Insecurity is it's been, it's been with us for many years. You know what? We have to find a way to resolve it. Even other OBG, a same minister was killed in his house. Mm. We all see all these things now. Mm. 
making it look as if no, 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 it didn't start today. It could be war, but it, it didn't start today. Mm. And as I said before, even all these ethnic groupings started under Obasanjo. If you had unity, why did they come up? I wonder because today you see people who are served as ministers in Abuja. They return home and become ethnic champions. You got you get the point. Mm. Okay. You know, people that have served as ministers in Abuja go after that they go home and become ethnic champions. Look for okay. instance. Aoudo Ogbe, just as a minister, today is the chairman of, of ACF. Are you considered for Should that be so? Mm. You have former ministers mm. in Aferifiri, former ministers in Ohaneze. Right. People that have served this country, they are supposed to speak for Nigeria. Mm. They are not speaking for different ethnic groups. No, no, that, that just it. no, it's no, not a matter of uh, OBJ's comment, fine. Whatever he says, go and take a look at it and address whatever he says if, if, if they are genuine. Mm. But we should also talk about the man himself. All right. okay. He did do better when he was there. Exactly. Well, All which right. is so a colorful please. character. I would, I would be afraid to say that. Which oftentimes, every time he speaks, it gets the entire con mm. country rattling. But let's, speak with, let's look at the Nigerian News Direct. Uh, big story still with um, the president's reaction to former President Shogun of Basenjo describing him as Nigeria's divider in chief, says Buhari, prevented uh, Nigeria from becoming a failed state. Uh, NPL, which is non-performing loans and banks, increases by 14%, 1.21 trillion now in the first half of the year. Uh, that's the biggest story appears in business um, going into the week. Above the banner, uh, the Credit Regulation Commission seeks same regulatory power, CBN, as well as the NCC. What are the implications? Huh? Ogun Governor 6 and the PHCs of support uh, for Abekuta Industrial Cluster. Um, LNP to set up CNG refining, refilling plants across the country on the discussion to run deregulation. IPPI's department not involved in university appointments. NCC emergency um, communications centers uh, process 1,500 COVID 19 related calls, says Dambata. Um, surprise on the business paper. I don't see anything about uh, the bread crisis we are facing right now. There's no bread anywhere in Lagos. I don't know what's going on across the country, but appears the baker strike <laughs> may be on also too. Uh, get the stories and more in the Nigerian News Direct. Uh, now let's uh, be my search lines on the cover page of the punch today where the cover story is on the failed state presidency acf attack of basenjo as ohanese a Ferry defend ex-president get that on page two there are three quotes here you want to read up on them one from ohanese another from presidency and the last one from the acf spokesperson uh, the, above the nameplate and the strip there, upper strip, power generation tumbles to 2,419.7 megawatts. Supply worsens, page 28. Malami can't single-handedly amend lawyers' professional conduct rules. That's according to the new MBA chairman, Akpata, get the full details on page 8. Top 10 exporters earned $74.78 million in one month. That's the big one on page 28. And federal government fumes as health workers begin strike today, page 41. So to, to Edos decides PDP, APC fight over vote by plot. Tinumbu mentioned, page 20. And also on page 20, leaders group decries tension ahead of governorship poll. And PDP, APC rain harsh words on governor, governorship candidates and deputy. You can get all of these stories on page 20 of the paper. And there are three pictures here, all showing the Mushud Abiola National Stadium under renovation in Abuja on Sunday. Uh, very interesting there. Confusion trails drowning of two Lagos residents in flood. Pages four and five. Pam one seller beats up a policewoman over missing 150,000 naira. That's a serious one on page five. We're probing viral video of Shisha smoking cop. Police, page 5. Only JSS3, SS32 will resume on, on September 21 in Lagos, page 9. Hetman, Rob Ogunfama, rape 16-year-old daughter, page 4. Akredolu, Deputies Party Chair Defects APC, page 20. That's many stories inside the punch today. You want to pick it up and read up. And then finally, let's see the nation's sport in life. Um, 
The EPL is back uh, together with a number of um, elite leagues in Europe, and so you can imagine the stories up now. Roger screams, Wilfred indeed outstanding, shines as a center bank back, rather, he and Acho and you substitute Ajayi's yellow in EPL opener. It's a game between Leicester and West Brom, which happened yesterday. Uh, three goals to nil, Leicester served uh, West Brom uh, for dinner. Osaka claimed second title in three years, a winning, winning stunning comeback, comeback victory over Victoria Zarenka. Uh, Osaka is the name ringing everywhere. Everton one nil over Tottenham. It will be missing in toughest win. Uh, Tottenham losing their season opener. Man, you cannot pay hundred million uh, pounds sterling for Sancho. Uh, and Bappe serves quick notice to PSG while his teammates were picking up red cards against Marseille yesterday. They lost that game one goal to nil. And PSG's um, complex season gets worse. Huh? So you have the result of all the games played there over the weekend. Uh, there you have also games to be played today. Wolves versus Manchester United. Brighton uh, versus Chelsea. Check out Neuron um, Blessed later on. Uh, they'll give you some more update on an uh, interesting weekend mm -hmm. for us. All right, so this story is and more you find nation sporting life. No, Mustafa, let's mm. talk about... Uh, it, it seems as if <laughs> the presidency, AS, ACF, attack on Basoja, as well, and if we've talked about this really, but having uh, Ohane is a joining this particular it, one. You know, know, these are the issues I'm talking about now. The formation of these groups, are work of the Susie Forum, Ohanese, Afeni Firi, the way I view them, they have come, say, go, go and see what kind of thing they say. You know, they are pronounced are happy to divide this country. Some of them will make divisive statements, turn around to blame government for, for division of the country. You, you got a point. They don't say, set up to defend ethnic interests. So people have served as ministers in Abuja. At the center, they return hope to become ethnic champions. And you want people like us to be happy? Something is wrong somewhere. You, you got the point. I, I, you see, I, I, don't, I don't join the crowd. And fact, you see, when you talk about ethnicity, I, I hardly even get involved. I am not. I see Nigeria as one. So I, I'm not inclined to any ethnic thing. Mm. I don't. I don't differ to any of them. Mm. I see them as, as the same. Look, I, I would just finished as the minister you know, recently. Now he's the chairman of ACF. Now to speak for Arewa. Who now speaks for Nigeria? Nobody. I you expect people like me to keep quiet? Mm. No, I won't do that. Yeah. You know, there are issues, really. But let us address these national issues objectively. Not from ethnic lenses, not from ethnic perspective. Let's look at the issues nationally. Yeah. That is why I support the clamor for national conference. Yeah. Not just doing it and you keep the reports away. Yeah. Obado did this, so he kept the report. Exactly. He did the equipment. For example, when you go to the, when, when you, when you, when you go to the market, you know, for so example, that, that to buy issues. things, you're not going to buy the Now, the refuse fair price, all of us have paid the same price. Yeah. You know? I remember when, when he was in power, he increased fair price that many times. And I asked one guy, he said, okay. Oba Haji has increased fuel price now. We are Yoruba. Were you accepted? He said no. <laughs> That's it. Now, Bwari has increased fuel price now. Did, did, did they accept the Northerners? No. That's why I say, let's look at the issues now, holistically in, and from a national perspective, not from ethnic views. Absolutely. So we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much, uh, Mustafa Issa, head of New Civil Bird News, Lagos. Um, and we will have um, these conversations go on after the news where we look at um, the Edo um, election at security and there's still the school reopening uh, which begins this week uh, for schools in Lagos and uh, the upper week. There's a month of reopening across um, the education sector, not just in Lagos but across several states in the country. Up next is a news update. After that, we'll be right back for some more. Please stay with us. <laughs>